and we're diving into day two on the forest of hope land yes beautiful soundtrack by the way H highly recommending to check that out very peaceful even though we are on a timer <laughs> and dying technically very peaceful though so the onion is back with us. The pigman indeed cannot survive by night. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the pigman's onion. Being alone on the strange plant makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the pigman out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. So... We are... You know what? We're taking all of them out, because why not? Okay, that guy is already... Okay, 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 okay. So, we will have our next colored pigment now. A yellow one. And yeah, I believe it is indeed the yellow ones. Although, I think... The red ones can tear down those here. Can they? Yes, they can. They indeed can. Okay. These guys are helping. Where's the red one? Uh, the yellow one. Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. No, wait. That was different, actually. It wasn't a yellow one. We know we first need to find the onion of the yellow ones. Excuse me. That was rubbish what I said. Very peaceful, slow death from poison, and my engineer brain can't shut up about rockets not having an engine. <laughs> This game's anxiety, including gameplay, will start soon. And the wall falls. Yes, indeed. And as you guys see at the top, um, we see the little sun going from left to right. Slowly but steadily. And yeah, then the day will be over. And everyone who is not back in the onion by then... Oh. Oh no. So, with these guys, we need to be careful. There we go. And uh, yeah, we tried to not bring any attention to anyone here. Oh, I see. They're like stuck there. I see, I see. Okay, you guys are taking that guy down now. It's always good. Two. How many do they need? Two? Oh yeah, one of my... Did one die? I don't know. Could be, could be not. Um, so yeah, here we have water. We are not able to enter... The water area with our pigmen. It's gonna be slow death with them. And here they are. Taking everything back to the ship. Um, were they able to, like, build the bridge? I think they are. Yeah, they can actually build a bridge over here. I can actually... Can, can I attack? Did they include that here? I can attack with A indeed. Someone called David Hasselhoff to sing. We just let them build uh, in the meantime. And get our Pikmin bag over here.
Gary, the snail just died. Gary, no. You think that looked like a Gary? The little thing? Okay, guys. Let's go. Um, so they're building over there. Um, ah, some of my Pikmin are already dying. It's okay, though. It's okay. We uh, still make it. We're just producing a new Pikmin. Oh yeah, and we, here we have the next part already. Oh, the snail, we tamed an arg. Neko, how are you like letting our tames die? Doesn't sound like you. Oh, that guy. Looks like it doesn't like to... Uh... How many do I need here? 40. Oh. It's quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'll let these guys build a bit. And then we take down the big guy. I forgot they only eat cake, so Gary died and Quest was almost dead. Who was Quest again? He must be one of the annoying ones, right? How has Quest been? Oh, you know, the summer house is doing good. He loves... He, you know, all the new... JRPGs. He's looking forward to Final Fantasy 16. Oops. There are several requests in our art game. We keep naming it inside. <laughs> well, yeah! Oh, the other snail. Oh, yes, right! I did one. Uh, yeah, one of the snails was named after Quest. Yeah. If Quest ever finds the YouTube channel, I just want to say I dearly like that guy, okay? For real. Okay, first of all, we bring. Why? It's the Eternal Fuel du uh, Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Just bring that bag. Let all of them help. Um, well, maybe not all of them. So we cannot go into the water, obviously. Pretty much going to kill us. Um. Oh yeah, right. Those were bombs. We get that here? Oh. No, 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 no. We're not getting close to that. Without any help of the other guys, guys. So, good. We quickly bring that back to the ship. There's nothing here in that corner. Ah, oh, that's how you... Oh yeah, okay. I see. And as you guys can see, left from the ship there is some yellow nectar that they can eat up, drink up, and then they become actually stronger. An engine-powered rocket and now a perpetual mobile. Maybe this game about cute alien onion people and making them work for you isn't the ultimate reference for physics. <laughs> Well, I don't think so. It's on a field dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, okay. Ooh. 
We are like letting them run into this. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit damage meter and pigment gorges. From the left, these numbers reflect pigment under my command, pigment in the field, and total pigment, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. I know about science because of this game. Pigman thought uh, taught me how many tiny red guys it takes to destroy a wall. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the pigment drink this del delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent pigment favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strength and pecu... Pec God, my non-English brain is not familiar with the word peculiarities of these flower pigments. Okay, guys, let's go. Now, you guys come with me, please. Because you're strong. Then we all go around here. We're going here. And we're gonna bite the ass of this thing here. Oh. From here. With all that we can. Yep. So, if you fight these guys, always fight them from behind. Come on. And here we have the next wall that we need to break down. And yeah, we now need to definitely have a look on um, the clock. Um, so we're there here. They are still doing stuff with the um, tree. Okay, you guys come with me. I think that means that these guys are also now. I think that here. Oh no, these guys can't take these. Okay. Or can you? No. Then the yellow ones were able to do so. So here we have the next part. Damn, damn, damn. I now need to have a look on. The pigmen that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that their path back to the onion is blocked and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle that have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I will have to determine what is blocking their way and do what I can to resolve the problem. What is resolving? What P problem? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. No, you guys are not going there where it is too dangerous for you. Mel! Hello! Okay, these guys are done. Over here. Hi, Mel. How are you doing? Oh, they're just. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? No, guys! Oh! Oh, no! Ooh! Come here! Ooh, I lost my pigment. 
Yeah, navigating them is hard. In Pikmin 2, they have a couple of... The pathfinding is a bit better. Let's, let's say it that way. So, um... Shit. Okay, I want to use the rest of the day to get that one more enemy down and get the third part recovered. Come on, guys. Oh. Oh, I see. Why is that? That is weird. Okay. And there we go. No, you little thing. It would be better if it was an army of cats. Kittens. My army is adorable. Thank you very much, Mel. Oh! It is the, the yellow onion. Okay. I see. Okay. So we wait for this to sprout. And now we have our yellow pigment. Look at that goofy little guy. The color is different, but it seems to be a pigment on the last. First glance suggests this one has what in some circles could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. And what others in what other ways might it be different from the red pigment? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a pigment as well. So, I am able to how am I only getting the yellow one again um let me take you because we want to get a couple of more yellow pigment Oh no. You little guy, come here. There we go. He's born. He's born indeed. And now I have more of them, I believe. Yeah, they can actually carry those bombs. The yellow pigmen have picked up some peculiar stones. Where did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow pigmen, but just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Um, come on, guys. Um, so... Come on. I have made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field. That's really not the time right now. My, my bomb is about to... The onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. But it seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. So, we... The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. Pikmin I dismiss by pressing... X bring their bombs when I call them back. Pigmen I throw by pressing A drop their bombs when I call them back. Keep clear of the explosion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, next one. Just gonna quickly tear down the wall. And the next one. So, let's get these guys out. 
definitely need more of the yellow ones. So, there we go, there we go. And now I really need to, like, keep an eye on... Okay. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath a dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own, but if I don't call the stranglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Okay. So all the Pikmin around the onions are all cool, they are all Gucci. They won't get killed. Lisa! Hi. Just gonna have a quick look over here, I guess. Um, get them... Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. They can, like, stay in there. Although, no. I will... Everything is fine. Doing good, Lisa. Doing good. How are you? How are you? All Pikmin lies matter. They do. They surely do. Oh. Okay, that's all of them. 100 of 115 are still inside the onion. That was a successful day. We cleared up the first area. Discovered the bombs. Okay, now we need to recover more of those bombs to um, have a look at all the shortcuts that we can find. Doing good, Lisa, by the way. Doing good, doing good. How are you? How is life? Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chance, then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Oh, Alright, you get um you get a map later. Maps are very important, we all know that. Yet there seems to be many hostile life forms here if I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage. I must return to my ship, stand in front of it and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage master. Meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. So yeah, I would say our population of Pikmin is growing quite well. We went from pretty much a couple to 115 in one day. 